This video was recorded on July 22nd, 2017. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD video game update. I have a couple of movies here. I have one video game here. A couple of these movies are really like birthday gifts. Um, one of them I got from my aunt and the other is from my family from out of town. So for my family from out of town, they gave me $30 for my birthday. And so with that money, I got myself Beauty and the Beast. This is the slip cover right here. I really like the slip cover for this. It looks very nice, very shiny. And if you guys have seen my movie review, you know that I am actually a really big fan of the 2017 film. I think it's almost, almost on par with the 1991 animated film. I truly do love the 2017 Beauty and the Beast. I think it did, I think it did honestly what I was hoping it would do, which is stay truthful to the animated film but expand more on this on the story expand more on the lead characters give them more of a background there's a there's a few new musical numbers added to there that i really really loved and the movie oh my god the production design is incredible like man did they really capture the feel of the animated film and i just love that so much bill condon did a great job here directing this film he really did he was the right director for this emma watson i know is getting a lot of criticisms for not being the rightful bill or even singing that good but to be honest uh, there's no one else i could think that could play bell better than emma watson she really is Belle. She played Belle so well and I thought she sang very well honestly for what she needed to sing. Same thing goes for Dan Stevens as the Beast. I thought he was really great as the Beast. The motion capture he had to do for the Beast was incredible. Of course I loved everyone else like Josh Gad and Luke Evans, Ian McGregor as Lumiere and Ian McKellen as Cogsworth. The other characters Mrs. Potts, Chip, you know everyone you name it they're great here. The musical number sound like how they should from the animated film and the new ones I thought were really incredible too. In my opinion I could definitely see where people could have criticism with this because of the changes and yeah not every single change is gonna work. I did state that in my review how there were uh, a few changes a couple of them that I wasn't too crazy about but besides that I I thought this movie uh, really did it right, and it's personally one of my favorite films of the year. This was $25 at um, Target. $25 at Target. Thank you so much to my family from out of town giving me the money for my birthday to buy this. So that's really a birthday gift from them, and I really appreciate it. The second film is a movie my aunt bought for me at Target because she knows how much I really love this movie, and that is... A Dog's Purpose. I think A Dog's Purpose is personally a great film. Like this was actually a film I did not expect to love. I went to this film interested. I thought I was gonna love, uh, not love, I thought I was gonna like this film personally. I was not expecting to come out loving A Dog's Purpose. Like when I say love, I mean I really love this movie. I honestly was not expecting the movie to be at this level and it's personally just like Beauty and the Beast funny enough it's one of my favorite movies of the year I thought it did tell the story very well of what a dog's purpose really is I really love all these lifetimes that you would see the dog going to you know after he dies all that stuff where the dog dies like multiple times that doesn't happen until the second half of the movie but you know, that second half of the movie when we do focus on all that, I thought it was very interesting. And honestly, for a PG movie, it's definitely pretty heavy for a PG movie. Josh Gad is very, very good with his narration. I think his narration personally fit for the dog to get an idea of what the dog is looking at. And while I can understand why people may find that distracting, I thought Josh Gad's narration fit very well. And everyone else I thought gave really good performances. Brett Robertson, I really liked her here for the screen time for the screen time that she had. I thought Dennis Quaid was really great here for what he had. And it's just a very well directed movie from Lassie Holstrom, who is honestly a very underrated director. Like 
really not a lot of people talk about his work like with this film a hundred foot journey uh this he's he's a very talented director and he's probably one of the most underrated directors working today if i have to be honest this is overall a great film that yes did have me very very emotional like on the level of a monster calls if i have to be honest i don't know if it's because of how uh connected i feel with dogs but man uh, i i got really really emotional watching this film especially the ending the ending really gets to me i definitely look forward to rewatching this movie i personally love this movie and i'm glad that i own it and it's thanks to my aunt for giving me this as a birthday gift so that's really all for movies you guys now for a long time now for a very very long time I've been wanting to buy the PS4 and ta-da look at that ladies and gentlemen look at that behold the PS4 after all this time of wanting to get it and after all this time of saving up my money I finally have the PS4 I've been waiting for that right day to buy it, and I finally do own the PS4. And now with that being said, you guys, the first PS4 game I bought, it's a game I have been dying to play, and I'm having a lot of fun with it so far, Injustice 2. I own Injustice Gods Among Us on my PS3, and now I own the sequel for the PS4, since obviously, they don't have it for the PS3. This game's a total blast. I personally had a blast with the first game, uh, and I've been really hyped for this game. I, I, I'd probably say what it is my most anticipated game of this year. It does not disappoint. It does what a sequel should do, to be honest. It goes bigger with, than the first film, like especially with some of the characters' moves. Like, man, do they go hardcore. Wow, I already thought the first film had great graphics, but the graphics here Whew, man, it really improved. The gameplay is so terrific. And of course, you have the ca returning characters from Injustice Gods Among Us, like with Batman, Flash, Aquaman, Catwoman. And then you have some of the new characters, like with Supergirl and, you know, just many other characters out there. This game is really great. The there's nothing more I could really say. It just has great graphics. I'm loving the gameplay so far. And, you know, as I'm filming this, I've only had this game for a day because I just got the PS4 yesterday, which was on the 21st of July. But for what I've been playing, I have not been disappointed by this game. I'm so glad I have Injustice 2 as my first PS4 game. And, of course, since I have a PS4, you guys will see me um, showing what more PS4 games I buy in the near future. So that completes it for my DVD, Blu-ray, video game update, guys. I know it's not really much, but I'm personally happy with what I got for my birthday. I personally don't really ask for much, so I'm, I'm honestly happy with what I got. So let me know in the comments what you think of Beauty and the Beast 2017, A Dog's Purpose, and Injustice 2. So you guys, this is a 20 Tiger here. Thank you so much for watching. Always appreciate your guys' support. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.